Monday Health Minutes, sponsored by Valley Health. Hi, I'm Melanie Schaefer. This is Monday Health Minutes. We're talking about community health today. What is that and what does it mean as far as getting access to care? CEO and President of Valley Health, Steve Shattles, is with us today to talk about what exactly community health is and how it can help so many people. Tell me what the definition is. How would you define community health? I think community health is so special and it's different from community to community and so many communities are desperately seeking to understand what community health is. It's really the convergence of traditional health, like provided by your physician, your family physician if you have one, but the economics in the community and the social and other issues that go on in that community, including things like disparities that might be happening in that community. Social determinants to care are so critical. Transportation That's is a big one. Yeah, all about access. Dollars in your pocket is all about access. This is all community health, dealing with food insecurities in communities. We try to outreach and tie individuals that are needing community resources like transportation to their health care provider or to a specialist that their health care provider needs them to go see. So are those things that Valley Health can help with, ad addressing the disparities and trying to get you past that stethoscope check to all the things you need to be a healthy person? Well, we do our best, mm -hmm. okay? Uh, we don't have all the resources. No one has all the resources to do that. But to connect and collaborate with some of those community resources, like a food bank or, or like TTA in, in Huntington, seeing what we can do to be able to get our patients or people in the community those issues that are can be solved so they can have access to care. Yes, and outreach is such a big mission for Valley. Absolutely. We have community health professionals and they are well-educated individuals are trying to hook individuals up with churches and other community groups that are able to see what the disparities are and then the whole issue of fairness in care, health equity, everyone, and this is our belief in access, should be able to get the highest level of care possible. But if you don't have health insurance, or if you've kicked off Medicaid because of whatever reason, because you make too much money, you know, where do you go? We will see you because we have a sliding fee scale at all 40 of our sites, and we have, as you know, a variety of healthcare professionals from medical to dental to women's health to optometry, sliding fee scales in place as well. Quality care in your neighborhood and you're trying to hit all the neighborhoods and all the communities. So we do our best and we're constantly recruiting providers and recruiting staff to support those providers. They are the backbone of Valley Health. Our teams that are out there at the sites, working with the site managers and supporting the physicians. So many of our staff members are members of the community. If you look at a Fort Gay, our managers grew, grew up their yeah. kids in that community and now they're community providers in that healthcare environment, which is pretty, pretty special. Families need behavioralists, families need dental care, and specialty dental care isn't available around some of our parts of West Virginia. So our mission is to provide access to them. We don't have dollars to give them, but we can try to link them with the resources that are out there beyond Valley Health. Taking care of the community and providing uh, that community health care that they need. Steve Shadows, thank you so much for being here and letting us all understand the aspects of community health. We sure appreciate it. Well, thank you very much. We'll see you next Monday.